Welcome to Saturdays with Sarah. I am Sarah's mom, Becky, and I am very excited to be here with you today as this is one of my favorite times of the year, going back to school. So today, I would like to read to you Amelia Bedelia's first day of school. It is written by Herman Parrish and illustrated by Lynn Avril. And I know that you all know that this is the title page. Amelia Bedelia's first day of school. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to go to school. Here we are, said Mrs. Park, the bus driver. Time to jump off. Amelia Bedelia backed up, then ran as fast as she could and jumped as far as she could. Oof! Amelia Bedelia landed right on top of a grown-up. Are you my teacher? She asked. I am Mrs. O'Malley. I teach Jim. Oh, said Amelia Bedelia. I am not Jim. I'm Amelia Bedelia. Can you help me find my teacher? Follow me, said Mrs. O'Malley. Here she is, taking Amelia down the hallway. Hello there. My name is Miss Edwards. You must be Amelia. How did you know? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Because you're my last tag, Miss Edwards said. Amelia Bedelia started running. You can't catch me, she yelled. I'm too fast. Come back, said Mrs. Edwards, laughing. We aren't playing tag. I have a name tag for you. Amelia Bedelia looked at her name tag. Something, something was missing. She added, Bedelia. I like my whole name, she said. It rhymes. So it does, said Mrs. Edwards. Now please, sit wherever you like. That was a hard choice for Amelia Bedelia. She liked the pictures of faraway places. She liked the letters marching across the board. She liked the hamster running on a wheel. She liked everything she saw. So she sat right down in the middle of the classroom. Miss Edwards began the day by calling roll. Amelia Bedelia. What? said Amelia Bedelia. Not what? said Mrs. Edwards. Here. I hear you, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said Mrs. Edwards. When you hear your name, say it. It? hollered Amelia Bedelia. It, said Miss Edwards. Who is it? I will be it, said Amelia Bedelia. Can we play tag now? Everyone began to laugh. Quiet 
as mice, said Miss Edwards. Now that I am sure you are here, Amelia Bedelia, I'll read the names of your classmates. Teddy, here. Angel, here. Holly, here. Chip, here. Penny, here. Dawn, here. The names were very exciting, but Amelia Bedelia still loved her name the best. Plop, plop, plop. Miss Edwards placed a lump of squishy clay on each desk. Let's make our favorite animal, she said. Amelia Bedelia loved hamsters, so she began making one. Rose made a giraffe. Look at that long neck. Dawn made a pony. And Clay made a big, fat bullfrog. You're funny, Amelia Bedelia, said Clay. You could be the teacher's pet. Well, Amelia Bedelia was not very happy. She loved animals, but she did not want to be anyone's pet. She felt like flattening Clay's frog. If you have, if you have trouble, chickadees, said Miss Edwards, try wiggling your figures, fingers on that clay. So that is exactly what Amelia Bedelia did. Soon, clay was laughing so hard he could hardly stop. Amelia Bedelia, said Clay, stop tickling me. Look at him laugh. Clean up, clean up, everybody. Clean up, sang Miss Edwards. It's time for music. Miss Melody arrived with her guitar and her tambourine. We will sing like birds today. La, la, she trilled. Then the students toured the library with Mr. Stax. I want to see your little noses in the books, said Mr. Stax. Ow! What did Amelia Bedelia do? In gym class, Miss O'Malley taught them how to run like cheetahs. At last, it was time for lunch. Do you feel like a sloppy Joe? Asked the lady behind the lunch counter. No, said Amelia Bedelia. Do I look like one? Here you are, said the lady. I hope your eyes aren't bigger than your stomach. Me too, said Amelia Bedelia. They would not fit in my head. Amelia Bedelia said Rose after lunch. Do you want to jump rope with us? Amelia Bedelia smiled. Sure, she said. She put the rope on the ground and jumped over it. Amelia Bedelia was a terrific rope jumper. Rose giggled, so did Holly and Dawn and Joy. But before long, everyone on the playground was jumping rope the Amelia Bedelia way.
there was time for one last project. Miss Edwards brought out big sheets of paper, glue and scissors. This is free time, she said. Create something wonderful. Amelia Bedelia decided to make daisies for her mother. She got a piece of white paper and a piece of yellow paper and another piece of white paper and another piece of yellow paper and another piece of white paper and another piece of yellow paper. Look at her, back and forth, zigzag. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards. Don't be a ping pong ball. Please sit down. B but, but I need green for my stems. Enough is enough, said Miss Edwards. Please glue yourself to your seat. So, Amelia Bedelia did. And since her Daisies didn't have stems. She glued them to her headband until the school day ended. Goodbye, squirrels and ladybugs, said Miss Edwards. She was standing at the doorway, giving everyone a gold star. See you tomorrow, soon. Amelia Bedelia was the only one left. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards, why are you still here? Because, said Amelia Bedelia, you told me to glue myself to my seat. So I did, said Miss Edwards. And so I did, said Amelia Bedelia. Do you think she can get up? Amelia Bedelia stood up and this chair stood up with her. Miss Edwards chuckled, then laughed out loud. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, Miss Edwards said. I should have known better to, than to say that to you, especially on your first day of school. As Miss Edwards got Amelia Bedelia unstuck, she whispered, Want to know a secret? Today is my first day of school, too. I am a brand new teacher. We both deserve gold stars, said Amelia Bedelia. You'll have lots of fun tomorrow, said Miss Edwards. We are having an assembly. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. What are we going to build? Then she tapped Amelia Bedelia once on the very top of her head. Tag, said Mrs. Miss Edwards. You are it until tomorrow. Amelia Bedelia smiled. She couldn't wait to come back to school. So, put your nose in a book and read with Amelia Bedelia. Bedelia. She loves everything about school. New friends, a new teacher, her own desk, music, books, gym, art, recess, and lunch. Hooray for school. And I know that each of you is going to have fun.
find your school supplies and getting ready for your first day of school. Now, make sure that you go to Sarah's website, playfulplots.com and download your very own Back to School Log, where you can either write or draw a picture of what you want to do in school this year, your goals. Oh, and you can write your name. You can write or draw a picture of your teacher and draw a picture or write what you want to learn. 